what is up everyone, my name is Prolictini, and today I am bringing you another episode of my Pokemon Platinum Egg Hall Challenge. In the last episode, we conquered Mount Cornette, we battled all, Cyrus, all of Cyrus's goons, and uh, we found ourselves in the Distortion World. Yeah, a lot of stuff happens has happened since then. But, let us go onward and uh, explore the Distortion World. I hear that there's no Pokemon in here, so we don't really need to repel. Uh, this rock slab, I appear as move you step on a certain spot, okay, what's the middle, obviously. And, uh, yeah, but, quick note, this place can actually be quite challenging if you do not know what to do here. And, uh, with me, last time I played Pokemon Platinum was, um, I think when I defeated my Let's Play, when I finished up Pokemon, my Pokemon Platinum Let's Play, and it was the last time I played Pokemon Platinum, pretty sure. So... It might, <laughs> with my knowledge and with my memory, it might take a while for me to figure out what to do here again. But nonetheless, um, it's pretty cool this place. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of like a maze. It kind, it is a maze, but it's kind of like one of those mazes where like, oh my god, what the hell am I supposed to do here? It's, I don't know, it's really hard to explain what it feels like, but... In my opinion, I like this place, despite it being really creepy and the music just being eerie. Even though there are people that has that have made incredible remixes of this, and I just love like the remixes. I think it is Pokey Remix City that like an awesome remix of this, and I love it. So go check it out. It's pretty cool actually. And uh, yeah, um, no, God damn it! There we go. Uh, let's go up here and uh, talk to Cynthia. Uh huh. All forgotten, huh? Well, not today. It isn't today. We figured out that there's another legendary Pokemon besides Dialga, Palkia, and, and uh, yeah, those two. There's actually Garatina as well, and he's like the boss of all these legendary Pokemon. I don't know. What I'm talking about. Even though it should have been Arceus, that's one thing that I've been wondering for a very, very long time. Is they never released the flute that awakens Arceus in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl? Yet, if you cheat to get the flute, there is a little mystery thing that in Mount Cornet that happens. Why did they never? Why did we never have that event? Why they implanted that mission into the game? Yet we never really had. Uh, we never really had that mission, so I'm not sure why. It's something that's been like when when I'm here, I'm just like, what? Why do why do we never have that mission? It's just one of those things I'm confused about why we never had it. Oh boy, it's Cyrus. The shadow Pokemon isn't here. It abandoned me here, then it disappears somewhere further down. Oh, is the constant merely to interfere with my plan? Incidentally, do you understand the concept of genes? Yes, I do. Not the genes you wear, guys. The genes as in DNA, that kind of stuff. You gotta learn about chemistry here. I said chemistry, yeah, I don't know. Um, I haven't had school for like two days now. Um, yeah. Okay, um, mm hmm. Yeah, there we go. That's cool. Reveal itself. Okay, so he's talking about DNA and genes and that kind of stuff and about Pokemon. It's pretty cool uh, how Pokemon teaches you stuff and who if someone says to you Pokemon's stupid it doesn't teach you anything well it te does teach you something go back to that mission when Pokemon Platinum with you will talk to Cyrus and talks about genes that kind of stuff yes I'm pretty sure this game does teach you some stuff so yeah but so far I'm actually doing really well with figuring out what to do here in this place so I'm quite happy with myself but now you'll see Zeke's Yuxi will pop down. It will pop up, actually, pop up actually. And what you have to go do is you actually want to uh, make this boulder. You want to push this boulder down here. Oh, there we go. Strength. You want to push it down there. And now you want to do, do go do is with this uh, go down this elevator, jump over here, and do not push it down here. Do not, as in do not do that, as um. It's quite a bothersome, you have to restart, I think you have to restart the solo mission if you do that. I've, I've never done it, but I just don't want, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's, you do not want to do that. Because if you do, you probably like screws up the whole mission or something, I don't know. 
But now that you're done there, you want to go and um, you can't go there just yet where Cynthia is. Uh, you have to go finish up some stuff. But when you, what you want to go do is um, you actually want to go over here again. Uh, use this thing. It'll take you upwards. You can go over here and then jump over here. And then Mesper will pop, over, uh, pop up over here. And um, it's going to tell you to push a boulder downwards. And uh, yeah, it's basically the same concept over and over with all three legendary lake Pokemon. And they help you out with this in this case, which is pretty cool actually how legendary Pokemon help you out. Um, well, then again, they always help you out. I've never really seen a bad legendary Pokemon, except for... No, yeah, Darkrai. I don't believe Darkrai has helped you at all, so... Pretty sure Dark Ride is evil. And this place over here, I hate this place because these rocks and stuff disappears all the time. I know there's, I know there's a certain, like, thing you can do to, like, make your, um, yeah, like this. It disappears over here. Or, I don't know, I've never really figured out what to do here with this place. I just know how to get through it and, uh, yeah, but like, I've never figured out the concept of these stupid flowers, so. Or whatever they're called. And over there you'll see Cyrus, uh, we'll, we'll come towards him later on. And now that you're up here, you want to go and jump over here. And jump over here. And jump over here. So yeah, I know my way around this place pretty well. It's just, I sometimes f tend to forget, but yeah, anyway. Now you want to go talk to Cyrus, and I actually know he runs away from you, doesn't talk to you, never mind. Um, but this is the cool area up here. You have to surf actually. So yeah, you do need to surf HMO3 and This is the cool area over here. Let me show you what I mean by cool Not the upside down part, but this part look at that. It's this waterfall It's kind of like it looks like it's going upside down But it's not it's it looks like it's going upside down or going downwards Yet, it's one of those things, like, I think it's an optical illusion they try to do here with, like, the game mechanics. And this is one of the most favorite things I've seen in Pokemon in a really, long, really, really long time. It's really creative, and I don't know what's about it, but I love this place. Especially this waterfall. It's so cool, so I don't know why. I just feel it really, it's really cool in my opinion. But, nonetheless, let's go over here, and I believe Zelf appears, and I'll tell you to bring that boulder downwards. And, uh... Yeah, same concept, and uh, yeah, that's the last boulder you have to bring downwards, and then we'll be battling uh, Cyrus, um, so yeah, and Garatina, so that's going to be pretty cool, actually. And that, now that we're done there, you can go over here, uh, jump on this thing, on this elevator, and uh, take care of the rest. And uh, the last boulder is over here, you have to push it all the way over to Mespert, and uh, that's going to be pretty cool. But yeah, nonetheless, this place is pretty obvious and what to do. It's straightforward. Uh, if, if if you've been playing uh, Pokemon as long as I have, it's pretty straightforward. And you should have no problem figuring out what to do here. Uh, if you don't follow what I'm doing, um, good luck. Because it sometimes is a bit hard. Um, let's push it in here. And uh, it's a good game against... Good game, what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm not really sure what to say, as it's pretty obvious what to do there, and now you go talk to Cynthia. And somehow, magically, this platform behind her appears, like, what the hell, like, is, is like, wow. It appears now after we've all, all done all that boulder stuff, but yeah, it does somehow, and uh, yeah, but now, we go and verse Cyrus's Wrath, which is not gonna be fun for us, as, uh, his Pokemon are quite high-leveled, and... Ooh, I just don't want to battle him right now. Like, uh, I'm so afraid I'm going to lose. Because the team I have right now is awesome. Like, this team I want to have until the Elite Four. This team's awesome. Um, yeah. And Alan, Alan and Aquaman have been there since the beginning. So, I do not want to lose them. Um, yeah. So, you were already here. Why do you seek to change the world? If you hate our world, you should just go off somewhere alone. Find somewhere you can live without seeing others. Why should I run and hide from the world and have to wait quietly? My aim is to rid our world of the vague and incomplete thing we call spirit. By freeing ourselves of that, our world can be made a com complete. That is my justice. No one can interfere. I won't lose. Not to that shoddy Pokemon. Not in a worthless world. 
So yeah, this is our last time battling Cyrus, believe it or not. He starts off with a Houndoom level 45, I believe. Yeah, 45. Um, remember, I remember that from my, um... Whatchamacallit, the Pokemon Platinum Let's Play, as this place scares me a lot. I believe this Houndoom killed quite a few team members in my Pokemon Platinum Let's Play, so that's why I'm aware of it. I do wish I I wished I had an earthquake so I can just finish off Houndoom, but I do not have earthquake, so that sucks. But Houndoom is done and Diggs d did it, so it's pretty cool. Level 51, not bad. Next up is I believe Weavile, so I'm gonna switch into uh, Cybot, as Cybot can take care of Ice type Pokemon really easily, and with with it having Hammer Arm and with Weavile have it being Dark and Ice type. It's four times effective, so yeah, but Weevil can't do crap. It can fake me out all it want and use Night Slash, but it can't do anything against me. I'm a really bulky, but yeah, it's done. Good game anyway, so yeah, we're done there. Next up is his Haunch Crow. I'm really afraid of this thing, as this thing is its strong is Cyrus's strongest Pokemon, and with uh, just I'm gonna speed this up just to see if I don't. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. Thank you for not killing Alan. Sorry for speeding up, but I was just really shocked right there. Next up is Gyarados. It has Ice Fang. Um, so you know what? I'm gonna switch into Aquaman. Try to wing attack it. And then use a Hyper Potion on Cybot. Use a Hyper Potion on Aquaman. And switch into Cybot here. And use Metal Claw. Metal Claw again. And let's use a Hyper Potion here just to make sure. I knew it! I knew you are going to do something stupid like that. So I follow it. No! What? What? All that training for nothing! Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Oh, what? What? Oh... Just get out. I'm fin I'm done with you. I'm sorry. I just do not like Cyrus. Are you kidding me? I trained up a me 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 a Beldum to a Metagross. You know how long that took to make? To do? Oh, what the heck? Oh, I hate you. I knew something bad was going to happen there. I just knew it. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Wow. Well, um... Yeah, for people asking me, will I be catching Garatina? Uh, yes, I will be catching it, but I will be cheating. And, uh, yes, yeah, Cynthia heals up your Pokemon. However, I cannot use Metagross whatsoever, as Metagross is dead, and I can use it. So, yeah, that's how it works in the Egglock. Metagross is dead, and, yeah, after all that, Metagross is dead. That sucks really bad. But nonetheless, uh, we'll be catching Garatina, except I'll be catching it with a Master Ball, as I am not in the mood to lose anyone else. I know it's a bit cheap, but luckily I can get a new Pokemon if I catch Garatina, as I haven't caught a new Pokemon here. For a second, I thought my inlet froze, I was like freaking out there for a sec, but it did not. So yeah, I can catch a new, I can catch Garatina here, as I've not caught any Pokemon here, as Garatina is the only Pokemon you can encounter here. But nonetheless, here's Garatina for you. Uh, will its model be screwed up because it's 3D? No, it's not. It's not screwed up. Let's just go ahead and catch Garatina. And if I, if I encounter Shiny here, I would be freaking out as I've always wanted a shiny, shiny Garatina and it's not Shiny. But yeah, that's Garatina's origin form. In case you're like, why is it different? I don't remember this from Diamond Pearl. Well... In Platinum, it has a different form called Origin, and I'm kept using Master Ball as I don't want to lose anyone else. So I'm sorry if you guys are like, oh, it's cheap, Jake. I know it's cheap, but I do not want to lose anyone else, as I'm in a really difficult spot right now, training-wise. So, yeah. Let's Garatina. We can catch any. We can actually uh, patch any Pokemon now, and uh, yeah. However, um, with us catching Garatina, uh, we, it will not be in Origin form once. We go back to um, the mainland. It will not be in origin form anymore. As uh, you actually need a orb called the Greasiest Orb. I think as you pronounce it. 
or bring it back here and it should be original form I believe and you can only obtain the Greasy's Orb after beating the Elite Four and coming back here I believe um yeah and so, uh, yeah uh, you can read what Cyrus and Cynthia are saying because I believe it's gonna screw up and I do not want that to happen uh huh Okay, Cyrus, and believe it or not, we don't really see Cyrus anymore after he vanishes here. Uh, I don't believe you see him in Heart Gold server. No, you don't. And if we see him in X and Y, well then, well then, that's that's gonna happen. Um, yeah, this place. What is this? Well, this is Senov Spring. This is actually the way you can come to see the Caratina again. But, you will not be able to do that until you beat the late 4, as Cynthia will, block, will be blocking you. Um, so, don't even bother trying to go there. But with this being a new area, we can actually catch a new Pokemon here, which is a bit barrel. Um, excuse me, Ultra Ball. I can't use, I can't do anything against you. I'll, I'll kill you if I try doing anything against you. There we go, so thank you for getting the Pokeball. There we go. And, another barrel. Um, what's... Ooh, I would have loved having a dust off actually on my team, but you know what? Everything sucks, and that stupid, stupid Gyarados was the Gyarados. Yes, Gyarados has killed us. So, yay! Um, but over here is just a little pathway. It's like, yeah. Um, is there any items up here? I forgot to get. I don't believe there's any items up here. There might be. I don't know. No, there's no. We're running a blue circle. Okay then. Let's go back here. And you have to use rock climb to go down, as always, we already know this. And with my luck, I don't have any Pokemon that can learn fly, so I have to run all the way back to Sandgem Town, as you actually need to do that. Because Professor Rowan is worrying about you, I'm not sure why he's worrying about us now. So, yeah, we have to run all the way back to uh, Professor Rowan, or Sandgem Town in this case. Well, you don't have to run back. If you have fly, you can use that. But with me, I have to run back all the way to Sanjim as I do not have fly. So, you know what? I'm going to exchange the two Pokemon we have. And I'll be running back to Sanjim Town. So, let's go exchange these two Pokemon. Um, put Psybot in the day not daycare, uh, the death box. And, uh, yeah. I might use Rampardos as... I'm, I've been thinking about Rampardos as it's quite a good Pokemon. But, you know, no, I didn't want to, actually, I didn't want to deposit someone, but not that way. So, as you see, it's, it's, it's altered form now, and, uh, yeah, caught a Master Ball. It's pretty easy catching with an Ultra Ball, however, it's, it's, oh, Giratina's really overpowered, so I did not want, um, I did not want that to happen with you. Yeah, anyway, um, let's go and get Smosh Shock, let's get, let's get that, why not? No, I'll put you in a death box. I need to take the quick claw from you as well, so yeah. Um, put you there. No, 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 there. Uh, item. Take, yes. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, uh, yeah, let's go and do this. And, oh, yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to see how to spell this thing. Otherwise, well, that's not gonna be good if I don't know how to spell it. Because then people will be like, hey, Jake, you suck at spelling. I know I suck at spelling, so, yeah. But, uh, let's go and see what this thing is. Hopefully, I can, hopefully it's something that can replace Cybot pretty easily. Um, because I do not want something that... Murkrow. Hmm, I might actually use this thing. Who knows? Hmm. So, it's, I believe it's a capital S... And then, um, M, like, Smosh on YouTube, seeing as something like that, Smosh, uh, Smosh, and then Shocker, I believe, yes, Shocker. I don't think I can spell Shocker. Ah, interesting. I can spell, I can spell Shock, but I can't spell Er. Okay, um, yeah, that's... You gotta give me the limit to the name. I can't somehow hack to make the name incredibly long. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Um, who am I gonna exchange this for? Um, exchange like a barrel. Why not? 
So I'll see you guys back in a sec once it's what levels of barrel I forgot. I have amnesia, I'm pretty sure. Or Alzheimer's, I don't know. Alzheimer's, I don't know. Pronounce it. Uh, 38. So I'll see you guys back in a sec once Murkrow's level 38. So, BRB. Alrighty, so, Murkrow's level 38. Let's go put it back. As well, that's going to be, be the question of the day. Should I be, should I use uh, Murkrow on my team? As I know, uh, Hunch goes really bulky. Um, but it's up to you guys if I should use it or not. And, uh, yeah, this is the box where you deposit a Pokemon that we will not be using at the moment. There we go. And let's get another egg for Garatina, which let's choose it from this box. Let's choose Pikmin. Let's choose Pikmin. Why not? And, uh, yep. Now let's see. Um, let's have a capital P. Pikmin. Okay. And there we go. What is Pikmin going to be? Let's see. It is a Sunkern. Okay, I'm fine with that. Sunkern. Um, even though the single stats are not the best, Sunkern is pretty cool. Uh, let's go on. Okay. So we're 47 for this thing. Wow, okay then. Um, go. And, uh, go. And this thing evolves only with a Sunstone. So, yeah, I'll see you guys back in a second once level 47. Alrighty, so Sunkern's level 47. I tried checking to see if I have a Sunstone, which I do not have, so... Level 40 sun, 47 Sunkern, yay! Stats aren't that well, but nonetheless, Sunkern's a pretty cool Pokemon. Um, so yeah, I don't think I uh, will be adding anything. Uh, let me check what I have, though. Um... This thing would be cool, but I already have a Fire-type, so no. Well, it's I, I'm gonna ask today's question of the day: Should I be using um, Huntscrow or Murkrow on my team? So yeah, let me know. But let's uh, I'll be I'll see you guys back in a sec once I'm in Sand Gym Town. So until then, see you guys then. Okay, so while we're at this route over here, um, Route 206, I wanna go, go and get myself Earthquake for uh, Cobalt, or in this case, um, Garchomp. As I hear, Earthquake on a Garchomp is a must-need, so I'm gonna go get myself the Bidoof that I used to use an HM Slave as, so um, yeah, let's go and get Bidoof. Um, or I could probably use my barrel, but whatever. Oh, let's get Bidoof. Um, where are you, Bidoof? There you are. Pretty sure you're the one I used for HM Slave, hopefully. There we go. Uh, let's put the uh, X without the box. So let's go get ourselves Earthquake as I'm high leveled now, so yeah, I remember last episode, I was thinking it was like episode 4, I was afraid of going in that cave as I'm, a, when I, around that time I think I was like level 20s, and I almost got killed in that cave, so I'm, I have more confident now as uh, I'm not level 20 anymore. There we go, let's go use cut on these trees over here. Oh, I do not have cut on this, on this Bidoof, okay then. What the hell? There we go. Um, let's use HM1 cut on Bidoof. There we go. Okay, then cut. Good job! And let's go and oh, down these. Oh, Flygar. Cool. Would have liked you in the beginning, but I guess we didn't, couldn't have you. Uh, and that's not the area of the cave. That's all the way over here. Okay, my chop. See, this Pokemon is so level, low leveled. Ah, my level like 50, so yeah, I'm more confident now. Anyway, let's go on this cable over here, which should be interesting right there. And I'm gonna use a sewer repel. There we go, you sewer repel. No, what the hell? No, 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 no. Stupid backpack! Um, but here we are. Oh, wow, what the hell? See, this is what I hate about this bike. Let's see, so how am I supposed to get up? No! Damn it! There we go. That ended up well, really well. There we go, what's this? Max Ether? Okay, not bad. Um, but... Oh, wow. You just wanna go like this. No. Okay, how do uh, I see this is what I hate about these little puzzles? 
I'm not in the mood for using counting all Pokemon. Let's use a super spell here. No! Okay, I'll see you guys back in a sec once I actually figure this out. What the fuck? Oh my god, what the hell? Okay, so I figured that out after like, what, five minutes, ten minutes? It's kind of the butt, actually. But now what you want to go do is you want to go over here. And not do that. You actually want to go th over this thing if you can. Okay then, okay, never mind. I guess I'm just a dimwit and- Oh, what the hell? Is my, like, bike on slow motion or something? There we go. Finally. And now you want to go- This thing is up here or something, I don't know. There we go. And then you're gonna go- Oh, wow. Yay! More challenges for Jake! Not the Pokemon Master. Um, this cave is actually- I, I despise this cave every time I come here. I'm just like, yeah, not a good place for me to be. It's my, um... Okay, then, let's... Come on, Jake! You can do this! Just- just try to get up this- Ah, no! There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is up here, and you're gonna grab yourself... TM26, which is Earthquake, so that took us like, what, 15 minutes? I suck at this, um, but yeah, um, we're done there. Uh, we can now get ourselves some items, I guess, I don't know. Now let's just skip the items, I don't really care about them, I'm just here for get Earthquake. Let's get out of this place, um, there we go, let's get out. Hey, 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 get out, hey! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now we can get out of here. Um, I hate that place officially. Like, I used to not hate it. Like, I despise it, but now I just hate it. And hate's a strong word. So, you know, when someone hates something, they use the word hate. Not despise, or I don't like, or yeah, along those terms. I hate that place now, so be aware. Be aware if you encounter me in that cave, I will not be in a good move. Mood, not move. What, what am I talking about? I'm not talking about moose or here or anything along those lines. So we do back in the PC and I go to Sandrum Town. So I'll see you guys back in a second once I am in Sandrum Town. Sandrum, I don't know. Alrighty, here we are in Sandrum Town. And here is Professor Rowan's lab. All this just to come back. Jake, you've come back. You, you have leave me speechless. You've done it. You really have done it. Never has my heart pounded this hard for so long in my six years of living. The professor did a lot of checking up after you left. He was really worried about you, Jake. He contacted acquaintances looking for help, and... Jake, I'm glad to see you're safe. Welcome back. Oh yes, there was something I had to tell you. The three Pokemon of Lakes appear to have returned to their homes. So tell me, how are things going for you? The Pokedex. A mm, total of 171 Pokemon. The number of badges? Well, we've gotten seven already. That's only leave Sunny Shores Gym. Hmm, you've come this far, so why not obtain Sunny Shores, Sunny Shores badge? Oh, why not challenge the Pokemon League? That will broaden your horizons further than ever before. Not to mention the opportunities to meet even more Pokemon. That is true, and that's all he says. All that for nothing. Yeah, nothing, absolutely nothing. But that does leave us this route over here, Route 219. We'll be exploring this route next episode on Pokemon Platinum Egglock Challenge. As always, thank you for watching, and... Uh, Please answer the question of the day. Should I be using a uh, Merkur or not? So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode and peace out and see you guys next time. Until then, hope for a wonderful day.